I remember we were talking to Josh just a minute ago, and uh, kind of one of the things we were talking about is, you know, Indiana likes to, you know, in previous games has come out and really blitzed you guys, shown you guys a lot of creative looks coming after the quarterback. When you have a new offensive line, you know, three fresh faces, how can it help develop chemistry to maybe see some of those creative blitzes right off the bat? Yeah, so um, uh, going off with Josh, uh, Indiana, um, they're known to throw a couple different fronts at you. They may go three, four, five. Uh, they may even throw six on there. But um, it's uh, our job to pick it up, and as, as a, that's where it comes to practice and film. You know, um, uh, three new guys on the line, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just got to be able to be on the same page, you know, five minds working as one and uh, pick up what we see in front of us. So um, uh, days like today, and especially uh, going back on it and watching film are very important to make sure you're – you're up on your your studies so like the when when the physical part ends when the practice ends and the mental part just restarts all over again and so uh we're no we're, we're excited for the game you know it's a great opportunity to show what we've been working on over the summer so we just got to know uh you know work as one unit and get after it how has the communication developed across the line in terms of picking up those things as camp is rolling along here uh no we're, we're still progressing every day you know uh not nothing's perfect but uh we're just trying to get better every day um try to reach the goal that we're trying to attain just being a you no know, five minds working as one and uh, see where that takes us. I, someone I wanted to ask about on the defensive side, uh, Mike Hall, just how is he, where, at what level has he been at at the end of camp here and, and how have you seen him progress? Uh, Mike is clicking on all cylinders right now. You know, um, uh, we, we work um, during like one-on-one -on -one periods and stuff like that. We we try to uh, give it, give each other keys like, okay, so this is what I'm looking for as a D-lineman, so this is what I'm looking for as an O-lineman. So when we go against somebody who's not us, we're able to excel at a high level. So, you know, Mike has been a, a great resource, as O-lineman at least, to let us in on what the D-lineman are looking for in terms of getting us off our spot. Or we let we let the D-line know, vice versa, like, okay, if you do this, we're going to shoot here and make you run the loop after that. Go back to what he was asking about you know, Indiana being kind of aggressive. Did you guys look at that 2020 film at all this week where they came out and were bringing a lot of blitzes from a lot of different places and gave that line and Justin a lot of trouble? Yeah, you know, um, uh, you know Indiana gives us a lot of, a lot of uh, fronts, a lot of movement. Um, they bring guys from everywhere. But at the end of the day, if we uh, work our technique and we uh, stay in our feet, um, we'll be in a position to succeed at, at uh, that level. What techniques are important when you're picking up blitzes like that? Uh, just making sure that, um, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, five, but the five minds, five minds is one. You know, yeah. knowing knowing that the the guy next to you knows what he's doing. Knowing that uh, if if a guy's crossing face, you know the center's coming with you, so you pass it off. You know, there's might be a guy. If if a guy crosses your face, that means a guy's coming back. You know, um, uh, they they run a lot of uh, different stunts and blitzes. So making sure that we're on our film to know what what's coming, and uh, just you know putting it all on the field. You know, Josh is um, uh, and uh, short on short like an, an athletic freak. You know, strong as an ox, gets out of his stance fast, great feet, and so uh, just him coming in and mainly uh, learning the the mental side of it. You know, you know, Ohio State playbook is is not a not a small thing. It's a very large thing. We have a lot of terminology, a lot of terms that we have to go over and uh, that we use almost every practice, every game. And so just making sure that he's with us on all those things, and he's picking up picking it up at uh, at an alarming speed. You know, uh, at, you know, when he first came in, I was like, hey, no, you got this. And I was like, hey, I got it. And so he's picking up very fast. And uh, just uh, going back to you know, the five lines is one thing. So making sure that we're all on the same page at all times. And Kyle's now the starter, quarterback. Well, we have faith in all our quarterbacks, you know, as a um, – at the offense line, we're just tasked to keep the guy behind us upright and make sure that we uh, we maintain the line and we move the line on run plays. So, uh, you know, happy for all our guys, but uh, as offense linemen, we're just uh, trying to lead the team in the right direction. Go ahead. As, as a line, I mean, three new starters, you and the guy are actually going to hold on. There's a lot of pressure on the guys. How much do you feel that? How much is it more like hey, it's going to show them or you know what we're doing? Um, we, we feel like we believe in our training and what we've done over the summer um, and then um, what we've done in camp so far. And so we're just going to go out in the field and showcase what we've done over that time. You know, uh, co uh, our coaches always say you feel pressure when you don't know what you're doing. And so as long as we lock into the mental side of the game, I feel like we'll be in the right spot. I know you were just a freshman, but 
freshman year, but what do you remember about the Minnesota game starting against a conference opponent and all that takes of being on the road and like that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember that Minnesota game. Um, nervous the entire time. This is, this is freshman Donovan, not not junior Donovan. But um, uh, you know, I was in my stance. I was uh, the the heavy tight end guy, ran out there on the field, shaking in my stance. I believe I had a motion in the in the the one uh, play I was in. And I almost tripped over uh, Thayer Mumford's feet. So um, I I vividly remember the Minnesota game. But you know, uh, coming into a, a road environment, you know, you just have to you know band with your brothers. You know, um, there's uh, like thousands of people booing you, thousands of people like wishing you miss miss the play but as long as you have the, the 11 guys on the field with you that's all you need as junior donovan what do you communicate to the guys that are going to be nervous and haven't been for maybe it's their first start yeah I, I just tell them that um you've seen the worst there is in practices you know uh, like i was saying working with our d line you know they're uh, exceptionally talented you know they gives us they give us looks that we might not see in the game that we're about to play so i say you've you've gone through the hardest already now you just have to play in the game and showcase your abilities and um it's it's uh something that i took a while to register you know i had older guys you know paris um dewan luke they told me the same thing matt they, they told me the same thing that i'm telling these guys right now and it's just uh i know having confidence in yourself so you play fast you play strong you play you know to the level that you are you know blessed to be at do you um, like opening the season of the big 10 game no, uh, I, I just like opening the season, man. I'm, I'm tired of seeing the, uh, the uh, Ty Lee um, across the ball from me. I just want to uh, play somebody else now. Donovan, earlier Last this month, questions. you were saying you guys were starting to defog everything up front. Things were starting to settle in. What would be your assessment right now going into week one of where you're at? No, I'm, uh, I'm very uh, proud of this group of where we're at right now. You know, uh, nothing's perfect. You know, we have, we have plenty to work on. And I feel like that's just the, the best part of being at a university like this. Like every, every single guy in that room is hungry to get better. You know, even me, I know I have so much to work on. And so reaching, reaching that goal one step at a time, stacking days one day at a time is what we're trying to do as a unit.